When players come into college, everybody wants to play as a freshman. They all want to, you know, it's this generation, uh, it's all about immediate results. You know, you, you pick up your cell phone and you click on something and it shows up in two seconds, sometimes one second. You make a phone call, someone's on the line in one, two seconds. Everybody wants immediate results. And, 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 uh, and then all of a sudden, uh, the lights turn on the first game of the year. Okay, well, those results weren't very good. And uh, we had a lot of work to do because players have to improve. And, and uh, we, we went into the year with Boogie and Drew as guys that had big game experience. Joshua was on an Elite 18, but he's kind of redshirted, but, but he played uh, off the bench the year before on a very good team in NCAA tournament. Kobe played a little bit uh, on that tournament team as a freshman. And everybody else had very limited experience uh, in big games, and our freshmen had no experience. And then Vince had his, his, his injury and situation. So we were very inexperienced because really Boogie and Drew and, and Joshua were the only guys that had ever played in big games. Uh, and Reese a little bit at the end of the year, the year with Kobe, but they had been relied upon as guys that had to produce every night for us to win. And that's a whole different thing because everybody comes into college wanting these results immediately, but then you get your opportunity, what are you gonna do about it? And that first night, we didn't do anything. And, uh, <laughs> And I thought I coached a great game, but then I went back and said, you know, I still coach a great game, but our players suck. <laughs> so we got to work, and uh, we, uh, this is probably the most improved team I've seen in a long time because our, guy, our upperclassmen started being leaders, uh, our, our freshmen started contributing, our, our guys, our sophomores, shooters, everybody started getting better, and it was really, really impressive and that's what college college athletics is all about. You got, you're not you're always better as a junior and senior than you are as a freshman. And even though these freshmen want to play right away, they got to do this, they got to do that. I said, hold on, were you better as a senior in high school or a freshman? Well, senior. How about a junior? A junior. So so our development this year was really special. And to go 22 and nine, tie for second place with Arizona, uh, beat UCLA again at home, and yeah. win some big games well, it was really impressive. Before we go up, before we go up into our awards, uh, have a couple announcements. Uh, this this year, we feel next year's team can be as special a team as we've ever had. Uh, it could not be, but we feel it could be, <laughs> and it's going to be on the players. Uh, we are going on a foreign tour in August, August 5th through the 15th. We plan on flying into Athens, Greece, and then spending a couple days sightseeing. Going to the uh, world-class uh, island, uh, world-class resort of Mykonos, and playing in a, an air-conditioned new arena. A couple games over there, uh, and uh, and then we're going to go to Dubrovnik, Croatia, and play another uh, game. And we play professional teams in an exhibition, and it's going to be a great experience. We'll practice ten times in July because normally you can just do your summer uh, four hours a week, and but when you play on a foreign tour, you're allowed ten practices. So. Uh, Isaiah Collier will arrive in, in about two weeks. Uh, Arrington Page will be here in about three or four weeks. Uh, we may add one or two more. Uh, we have to add a couple of players. We have nine guys, scholarship guys. Zach makes ten. And, and, and so we have to add probably two more players because we have to be able to practice. And uh, we have a very lean roster coming up. But, but we're excited because this roster will probably only have 12 guys, 11 scholarship players in Zach. And, and, and uh, JD, and, and uh, we're going to go to uh, uh, get after it in July and go overseas and play a few games. And we feel like by the time uh, the season rolls around, we're going to be a really good uh, team. Uh, we have uh, a couple options. We're trying to put it together a charity game against Notre Dame, which will be the Friday night in Chicago before we play the football team on Saturday in South Bend. That will be a really cool uh, uh, charity, a real game, because you play for charity in the preseason. Uh, we do. Uh, we are playing a great tournament in San Diego. Uh, it's a two-day event over Thanksgiving with Oklahoma, Iowa, and Seton Hall. We have to return a game at Auburn uh, next year in Alabama, and then we're we're trying to we're putting together a uh, opening night game uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, we're going to open open the season in Las Vegas on national television. It's going to be a big-time TV game for us, and uh, the. Uh, the uh, opponent will be to be determined here in the next few days, probably next week. 
So we've got a very challenging schedule. We love our team coming back. Um, and, and some of these guys, you know, I'm going to try to talk about them as we, we have some of these awards. So with that, we are going to go over and hand out these awards. And uh, Mike Sweats, can you help me out here? Uh,